In mechanical engineering drawing, uh, when you have a full circle like this, you represent its size by a diameter. Okay, here in this case, it's a half half inch diameter. But if it's not full circle, represented by an arc, you add a radius. Okay, that's a me uh, mechanical engineering drawing convention. So when you adding a dimension to a profile of a revolve feature, you want to be careful how to add a dimension. So when I add a dimension from the center to this line, and that size will be a radius. Again, uh, from here to, to this line to the center line will be a radius. So when I do revolve 360 degrees, and if I click on it, these dimensions will be represent as radius and also this this one is also radius this not this does not follow the uh, drawing convention so when you add a drawing of this part you're going to have a radius dimension not the diameter dimensions so nobody calls the drill by its radius it's always called by this diameter okay so you want to make sure that you want to add a diameter dimension instead of radial radial dimension so here I'm going to delete this dimension and this one as well. Now I want to add a diameter dimension. So using the Smart Dimension tool and select this line. And because one of the selection is a center line, you can move your mouse over to the other side of the center line. It becomes the symmetric dimension, or in this case, a diameter dimension. And that continues as I select this one it automatically added the diameter dimension. Again, uh, you select, the order doesn't matter, you can select anything first. So one of the selection is center line. And if you select either point or parallel line, and then you move your mouse to the other side, it becomes a diameter dimension. So in this case, it's the shortest distance, and this is symmetric uh, dimension. All right, so get the 60. Now, if I remo uh, revolve it, sorry, revolve it, then you'll get the diameter dimension. So you see that the phi symbol, that represents its diameter dimension.